Today we continue the next point, Bright's law in reciprocal lattice. In earlier lecture, we discussed about the Bragg's relation by using X-ray diffraction by the crystal plane and we get the condition 2D sin theta equal to N lambda. Its geometrical representation also shown earlier that sin theta equal to 1 by dhk divided by 2 by lambda. Here we discuss Bragg's law in reciprocal lattice. That concept we discuss with the help of the Evals model and how the Evals model shows the diffraction occur in the reciprocal lattice. For that, firstly, we draw a circle with the center point C. At that point, suppose the crystal to be placed at that position and it form some set of the parallel planes. If X-ray beam is allowed to pass through such a set of parallel planes along the direction AO, then the X-ray gets reflected and it form angle 2 theta with the direction of incident beam. Here when the X-ray beam leaves the crystal and it ends on the surface of the circle at the point O, that point O is taken as a origin in reciprocal space lattice. We join the reciprocal space lattice point with the diffracted beam that is joined at the point P and that point P is another reciprocal lattice point. That vector OP is normal to the set of parallel planes. That crystal planes which are at the center and we draw normal to that plane that is a reciprocal lattice vector. If the reciprocal lattice points intersect on the surface of the sphere, the diffraction is possible and therefore that circle we call Evolved sphere or three dimensional sphere. The vector OP that is denoted by reciprocal lattice vector G and its the length of the vector is equal to 1 by dhkl. Hence, in the space, we represent the various reciprocal lattice points. These reciprocal lattice points once intersect, then only diffraction is possible since all the planes which are correctly oriented in the direction of incident beam. Now, we suppose the incident wave vector that is shown by a vector k that is OC and the reflected wave vector which is represented by a scattered wave or reflected wave that is k dash equal to cp. Here k dash and k is related by one relation that relation is k dash is equal to k plus z. That relation shows the scattering changes only when the direction of only in the direction of k. k is the incident wave vector and the scattered wave k dash and which differ from the incident wave by a reciprocal lattice vector g. Therefore that relation we write k dash is equal to k plus g. If the magnitude of the two vector is same that is k dash is equal to k that means 
the scattering takes place is an elastic scattering then only k become magnitude of the two vector becomes same using that condition we simplify k dash is equal to k plus g after squaring on both side k dash square is equal to k plus g bracket square therefore the equation becomes k square plus g square plus twice k dot g here k dash is equal to k therefore other side is k square k square cancel on the other side and the remaining term becomes g square plus twice kg equal to 0 this equation represent a Bragg's law in vector form in reciprocal lattice earlier we find Bragg's law by using excited diffraction by the crystal plane and that geometry we discussed earlier that is AP that AP is exactly parallel with the set of parallel plane and therefore the geometry of the Bragg's relation sin theta equal to 1 by d hk divided by 2 lambda 2 lambda is the diameter of the circle the radius equal to 1 by lambda hence theta that sin theta equal to op divided by ao hence 1 by d divided by 2 by lambda that is the excited diffraction by the crystal plane satisfy the Bragg's relation but in the reciprocal lattice space if the diffracted x-ray beam intersect the surface of the sphere as well as the reciprocal lattice point p intersect at the point diffraction is possible but on the other hand if no any reciprocal lattice point intersect the surface of the sphere then diffraction cannot be possible that point we also discussed earlier hence Bragg's law in reciprocal lattice that we represent in the vector form that relation is g square plus twice k dot g equal to 0 and that is the term thank you